issues that came up where I was not myself. And my husband wanted me to be myself again and family wanted me to be myself again. And I didn't know who I was. So I called Sovereign and asked him for help because I just didn't want to live. I felt hopeless. I got tired of hurting myself. I got tired of the depression. And I wanted to know what was going on with me. I didn't want to blame it. Okay, that's it's because my what happened to me in the past. I didn't want to blame that stuff, but it did destroy me. The trauma, the mental, because it was something I never experienced. You know, people talk about rehab and, you know, different things. And I just never, you, you, you think, okay, alcohol and drugs, you know, you don't think nothing mentally. So when the guy told me on the phone that it's trauma, I was like, okay, yes, I'm all for it. One thing about Sovereign, <laughs> and I'm going to just be honest, you have to want this thing. It's all about you. It's nobody else but you. And people look for people to, to baby them and to, for one, we're manipulative people. We can manipulate. And we could always blame somebody else instead of taking responsibilities. So Sovereign basically helped me to just accept Radical acceptance, it taught me tolerance and radical acceptance. Nothing's going to be perfect, but you have to do this on yourself. It's all about you. My DMR was with Dr. Sue, and she was awesome. Basically, she make you think. She don't tell you how to think. She make you think so you can find yourself. Because if people tell you how to do it, you don't, you know, you have to feel it. So she really taught me how to analyze situations when I feel shame, I feel any kind of different way from other people. She taught me to analyze that situation, keep looking at it in different ways and keep breaking it down to get this small. And Liz did my NFT. These things are different. At first, I couldn't, the NFT was, oh my goodness, it was overwhelming. You had to sit there and be still and just, and I couldn't, in my head, I couldn't be still. I thought I couldn't sit down in one place. But after I kept doing it and doing it, I got better at it. And it's basically all in your head. It's like, it's all in your head. Anyone can do this. I can't say it has helped me to focus just a little bit. I'm, I'm not perfect and I'm, I know this, but it has helped me. The residence I stayed in, it was awesome. It was beautiful. Even the houses when I first came, you know, these was nice cookie cut houses and it was nice. Oh goodness, Amanda was my therapist and she has something, a good quality that a lot of women wish they had and she's great. She just had this something about her, you know? And she's funny because she said she has ADD. <laughs> so she want all of us sitting, you know, to face her. And so we can, and if, she, one thing about Greta, she gonna let you know in a nice, sweet way, <laughs> you know? She gonna let you know if you doing something you don't supposed to do.
she asks us questions and she have us really, really think. But I got a lot of favorite groups though. That's not just my only favorite group. It was another one with, I seen Dr. Sue and it's just her personality where these, Dr. Sue is a old, come from an older generation and here it is, these young girls, they was younger than me. They was talking about something. She just grooved down in there like, like she was hip too. But she was, you know, it was like she did it in a nice way. And it's, it was just amazing watching her. They make you work. Because at the end of the day, you have yourself. You have yourself, so they make you work. And I, I just love how important socializing with other people, how different we are, different cultures. I, I found out that we're all alike, and we all got along. And it was an awesome experience. I'm talking about with different religions, everything. Everything was just awesome. I have no regrets uh, in here. It's just that wall was stopping me. <laughs> now I'm gonna go out in the real world and I'm prepared for that. To work on themselves and to work on themselves honestly. Just work on yourself and be aware of those bad habits and try not to do them because those bad habits led us to what we, where we are. So we have to get rid of those bad habits. The, it'll be the littlest, tedious things. And we don't think that that feeds our addiction or that feeds our emotions. 